Welcome to Stock Trades. In this video, we will be analyzing the quantitative part of the annual JP Morgan Healthcare Conference. If you haven't watched part one, I recommend you do so. I will link it up above. I'm going to be showing you a series of graphs. Don't worry if things are confusing. In the end, I will summarize everything in a beautiful bow tie for you guys. In part one of our video, we talked about how Clover Health compared itself to Tesla. Just like how Tesla defines its vehicles by software, Clover Health is defining the Clover Assistant as being a crucial part in establishing the software-defined physician, which will ultimately drive efficiency in the healthcare system. In part one, we talked about the computational power of machine learning. Overall, as the Clover Assistant acquires more information, Clover Health will see a significant improvement in the MCR year over year. The big takeaway here is that the longer the doctors stay within the platform, the better it becomes. Overall, we are essentially seeing a snowball effect within two years from today, we are going to see significant improvements in the fundamentals of Clover Health. As lives under Clover Assistant increase, the platform over time will self-correct and improve its machine learning algorithms at Clover Health's data centers. I started creating videos about Clover Health around Q2 of 2021 because I saw a significant increase within the revenue and lives under management, which is indicated in that steep jump to your figure on the right. That spike is when the direct contracting lives became incorporated within their data, which is absolutely beautiful. The fundamentals and the numbers of this business are very strong. Just look at the graph that shows lives under Clover Assistant growing rapidly. In just one year, you are witnessing a 223.48% increase in lives under management. Over the years, Clover Health has mastered the New Jersey market and studied every aspect of it in order to scale across the United States. On the graph to your right, Look at the x-axis if you compare United Healthcare, which is the big dog in the room. Back in 2014, they were dominating that market. However, after seven years, Clover Health increased by 2,600% versus United Healthcare's 48.65%. Interestingly, Clover Health gives us a 2022 projection, and if you compare it to last year, they will be increasing by 39.5% versus United Healthcare's 5.45% increase. It is very clear that Clover Health is acquiring market share at such a fast rate that just recently we heard another insurance company adjust their guidance, and I firmly believe that Clover Health was responsible for that. In fact, if you compare apples to apples, for example, let's say if United Healthcare competes with Clover Health in the same plan design, the medical loss ratio would be a thousand basis points higher even if they tried their best. This is the power of the Clover Assistant. This slide is extremely important. If you look to your left, Clover Health is expecting to increase lives under management by 60% this year. This growth is expected to translate into revenue growth as indicated in the figure on the right. If you look at the expected revenue for 2021, you see that they are projecting $1.44 billion for the fiscal year. Now, if you haven't looked at my video regarding my updated intrinsic value calculation, back in November, I gave a conservative estimate of a $1.4 billion, as you see in my DCF calculation to your left. What's interesting here is that I still believe that this is undervalued and they do that on purpose to add excitement on the upcoming earnings call. Therefore, we might see a revenue of around 1.5 to 1.6, but we know at least it is going to be more than $1.4 billion. Likewise, they are expecting an 84% year over year increase in 2022. This equates to a $2.66 billion in revenue, and if we were to go back to my intrinsic value calculation, you can see that my short-term growth rate was 71%. Again, very conservative. As an investor, the numbers are lining within my intrinsic value calculation. I will be updating the numbers after the earnings call in late February. Now, as we take and digest all this data, Clover Health has mastered the New Jersey market. They believe that they are able to replicate this growth nationwide. There were a couple of worries that I had in regards with how the pandemic will affect the company. However, with the recent price drop, this is such an overreaction that in my personal opinion, it is a steal at these levels. Recently, I have been receiving many comments regarding how Clover Health is a bad investment. In fact, here is one of the comments that states that Clover is done. I want ahead and asked him based on what what fundamentals are you basing it off on or is it just a stock price there's a nice quote i learned early on within the stock market 
Wall Street knows the price of everything, but no one knows the value of anything. In my next video, I will be going over major institutions that have purchased a Clover Health stock. Depending on how long you have been invested within this business, retail was the number one cheerleaders for this stock. As indicated within this comment, you can see that the sentiment for retail investors have shifted. This is obviously a crowd-like mentality, which unfortunately does not make money in the stock market. As retail investors sell, big institutions are buying this, which is unfortunate cycle that we're in right now, which is why I created this platform to help educate, stimulate, and inspire all of you to take control of your financial freedom by doing your own due diligence and research. If you made it this far and would like access to my intrinsic value calculator or just access to all of our price targets and exclusive daily briefings, there'll be more information in the link down below. If you haven't joined this channel, please consider subscribing. I strive to provide you the highest quality analysis on this platform. Well, that's all I have for you today, folks. I will see you on the next one.